about the projects you have worked on? Today, we're going to be answering this question in great details. 100% of the time, you will get this question in an interview. You cannot avoid it as a scrum master, as an agile coach, as a project manager, as a program manager. So please stay tuned and pay attention. Everyone, this is Karen from Marfong, your Agile Evangelist, and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to be answering one of the trickiest, commonly asked interview questions that you must know as a project partner. That is, if you're a project manager, a scrum master, an Agile coach, a release train engineer, a product owner, all of these, you should be able to speak around a project we've worked on so now in this video i'm going to be exposing you to what interviewers want to hear what they are looking for secondly i'm going to be addressing the trick to successfully answer all this question in a way that will win the heart of your interviewer and last but not the least i'm going to be giving you a sample answer which is going to be a project i have worked on in real life so that you can adapt and make it your own apply it in your own environment and just win in your interview so please stay tuned and watch until the very end now let's get started Whenever you go for your interview in the corporate space, they are always very interested in hearing the project you've worked on, especially as a scrum master, as a project manager, as a program manager, as a technical program manager, as a release trained engineer, product owner, all of that. So how do you successfully answer this question? Now, to make sure that you're successfully answering this question, you need to first understand what these interviewers want to hear, what they're looking to assess as you talk through those things. Let us start from there. What are interviewers looking to hear? Well, the common mistake that people make is when they ask them the project they work on, the first mistake that I've seen is that they walk into this interviewing room without preparing to talk about the project they've worked on. And not that some people don't have experience. Some do have the experience, but they didn't really just pay attention on the, on the things they need to know about the project they are working on. They just only know that they are focusing on their own little task. As a project coordinator, for example, they are focusing on their own little task. As a scrum master, they are focusing on facilitating their events, doing all of that. But they really don't pay attention on what is it this, that we're working for? How does this serve our customers? And all of that, they really don't pay attention to that. And when you go for your interview, that's what interviewers want to hear. And to set yourself apart, working in any environment, you want to be connected to the, what they are doing. You want to understand what is it that you're doing and you want to understand how your own role contributes to that thing that they are doing it's very very important yeah so they end up not not giving the, the answers that interviewers want to hear they end up babbling and finally not saying anything that really makes sense or that really attract the attention of interviewers now another um, mistake that i've seen is that some people will walk into the interview room they really want to talk about the project, but they don't have any project to talk about. You see, they don't know how to go about the answer. And I can tell you this, there is no one on this earth that hasn't worked on a project before. It mustn't be in a corporate space, but even in your personal life, there is a project you've worked on. However, our focus for today is going to be a, a, a project from a professional perspective. Okay. Um, and then in another video, let's hope I get to that i'm gonna be making another video that will cover a project you can talk about if you've never been in a professional corporate space so that will that will really make sense to you now but let's focus on the point for today now so that's a mistake people make so what exactly it is that interviewers want to hear they want to know if you even have experience working on a project secondly they want to understand the name of the project Third, they want to understand what the purpose of the project is. Last but not the least, they want to understand who the customers or the consumers of this project, this project is. 
So those are the four things that if you are answering a question on what does the project if work on, if I don't hear these four things, then your answer is not complete. Your answer to me is not correct. And that's what interviewers are looking for. As an interviewer, that is what I am looking to hear. Now, let us go ahead and touch on um, some sample of a project that you can adapt. And that is my own real world experience. So if they ask you, what is a project? Give me an, well, I'm going to first start by giving a bad answer to this question. Okay, so an interviewer may ask, tell me about a project you've worked on. And then you can go ahead, you will go ahead and say something like, well, I work on a scrum team and on the team, we're working on the software. We work on different softwares. We're working on softwares that um, our customers use. Um, yeah, so I worked on that project for um, one year and um, we, we finished the project and our customers were happy. No, you cannot give that answer and it will satisfy your interviewer. Do you know why? Because it is vague. It is not specific. We want interviewers want to hear specific things. And I can see how people would give an answer like that because maybe they have not had the opportunity to go through a coaching program or a mentorship program that would allow them to understand what interviewers want to hear. And not that they don't have the experience, but they just don't know how to present their, their experience you see so which is why again if you you are looking for a mentor or a coach we can definitely help you visit our website and learn more about our different programs which i'll touch into it at the end of this video now that's a sample of a bad answer so i'm gonna give you a complete answer that you can adapt towards your interview that will that will satisfy your interviewer. Now let's go. If they ask you, tell me about a project you have worked on. This is how I will present my answer. And this is my real world experience. Like I mentioned before, um, in the past, I worked at a university, as you can see on my resume, where we developed a software called e-learning website. And what this e-learning website did was, um, it allows our students and um, students outside of the university as well to be able to log into the website, look up courses of their choice and learn to continuously self-develop and improve. And as a result of that, they earn some credits that goes to their continuous learning and an improvement endeavor. The customers of this product was our internal facing students and students external to the organization. So that is one of the projects I've worked on in the past. That's it. So you see, I have touched on all the four things. First of all, the way I spoke about it, it shows that I have experience. So that's how you show your interviewer that you have experience without necessarily saying that you have experience by speaking confidently. That's the first thing. And then the second thing I mentioned the name of the software. I was specific. It was called e-learning website very specific um then the third name the third uh, thing is the purpose of the the software which was um aimed for students to be able to access the website and continuously self-develop and improve you know by looking up courses of their choice towards their continuous development endeavor and learn in order to earn credits last but not the least I also mentioned who the customers were. The, our customers were internal facing, that is the students of the university and external facing to people in public. Um, they were the ones also consuming the product. So that is it on this answer. If this was very interesting to you, please hit that subscription button and the notification bell so you will never miss out on any of our weekly content. And also before I wrap it up for today, please, as you may already know, we offer fantastic um, trainings on Scrum Master, Agile Coaches, Safe Agile Practitioners. That is, if you want to become a Safe Scrum Master, Safe, that is Skilled Agile Framework Product Owner, Safe Leader. We offer all those courses and it's just a two days training. You earn a, one of these prestigious certifications that is globally recognized or internationally recognized. And 
if you are just getting started in this scrum journey we also offer the standard scrum master training program our program is highly customized to give you everything you need to understand from a theoretical perspective that interviewers want to hear we don't go by the standard um, um two day scrum curriculum that is out there no our program is highly customized which is why our program is one month program and the fees is very affordable compared to the value that the program offers if you already have a certification you already understand the theory that is the concept and you're just you you are interested in getting into the professional space you want to understand what it takes to close the gap between just having a certification and landing that job our level two program is designed for that our level two program allows students to be able to or mentees it's a strictly mentorship program that allows our mentees to build their self-confidence gain the competency go through internship program or apprenticeship you have the opportunity to work on a life project that give you the experience you need it's a two months program and by the time your program will be over if you're committed and serious you must have had the opportunity to participate um, on a project of at least six prints the way the program is structured you must have experienced at least six prints before your program ends that way you have the experience you need so that when you go for your interview you're speaking confidently so the level two program covers everything you need to success to, to, to that you need to understand to successfully um land a job and be successful on the job long term and last but not the least we also have what we call the level three scrum master program which is for professionals that is if you're already working as a scrum master an agile coach a product owner and you're just struggling with your role you know you need to understand what it, you want to add value to your role our level three program is designed for you so all of that please that's our contact information right there as you can see visit our website beingagileconsulting.com learn more about our programs and learn more about if you want to give us a call please feel free to do so you can reach us by call text message or whatsapp and we'll be more than happy to help you send us an email as well if you want to if you need orientation on what to how to go about it or which of the courses to pick we'll be glad to help you and that will be it for today thank you so very much and i hope to talk to you in the next video bye yeah.